Hello, literature students. I want to talk conclusions. This is the language from the rubric. I'm not looking for a summary conclusion. What I'm hoping to see is an effort to answer this question. How does where America is today on the cultural tension you've discussed compare with where America was during the time Twain was writing? So this is a chance for you to apply what you've been exploring to today's culture. Are we in a different place than the America Twain describes and criticizes? Are we in the same place? Are we somewhere in between? This answer should be fully developed, explored, and often will take more than a paragraph. There's a couple of approaches to it. In the sample essay, Brian's, uh, that focuses on Faulkner and Baldwin, he takes a very personal approach to looking at where things are. Um, and let's take a quick look at that. So he sort of starts off with a statement of, you know, uh, where he wishes America was on this question and, and, and how we're not there. And then he jumps into exploring his personal thoughts about it. And as he explores his personal thoughts, he also explores the connections, the things that are going on in America. But he very much does it through his personal experiences. And you can see that he takes a couple paragraphs to do it. So that's kind of a personal response that says, here's where I think we are today based on my own experience. And that's a totally cool response. Another way to do it, though, is offer uh, offered up uh, in a sample paper from last semester, Lit 250, by our own uh, Zoe Meyer, such a great writer. And she um, takes a sort of more analytical approach and looks at where we are today from sort of a larger cultural perspective. So she doesn't zoom in on the personal angle. Instead, she looks at it on a larger personal level. So she talks about the author's opinions, and then she talks about where we are today on those questions and how that's different than where they were. So you've got uh, this is sort of a more historical, cultural, rather than a personal approach, moving from when her authors were writing, which was much earlier than Twain, through to contemporary. And you can pause this if you want to read the whole paragraph, but I'm going to scroll down to the second half of it because she talks about kind of bringing us up to date. She starts back when her writers, who were 17th and 18th century, were writing. Then she moves us up, and then she ends with where, where she sees us today. And so we see in these two conclusions a personal approach that Brian takes where he explores where we are today through his own life and a more kind of analytical approach that Zoe takes by kind of looking at the larger historical development of events. If you were going to do this with Twain, who's writing in the late 19th century, you would look at what's happened in the 20th century and what's happening today to make the kind of bridge like Zoe does. If you were going to take Brian's approach, you might just think about how this issue plays out in your own life today and how that mirrors the larger culture. Either way, neither of these approaches uh, has you simply summing up what you've said in the paper. And it's really important that you get past that summary type conclusion and use the conclusion to think about where we are today. I hope this helps. Feel free to email me or text me or call me with any questions about your conclusion or if you want to run something by me. See ya.